I always love using chunkers. Curved chunkers are a definite game changer in my book. They definitely help you get really nice soft angles. And especially on your curly coats or whatnot, the finish is always nice and plush. And pet owners absolutely love that. And so now that we've got everything else set on too, I am going to also take care of the inside of my front and my back legs because I've already got the body set, I've got my balance set, so I can start to comb this up. And so one of the best ways to make sure that I don't take too much off is I comb the hair up and out from standing from the front here, and I scissor with my shears pointing into between the back legs. That helps give it that three-dimensional effect, make sure that there's not too much hair left on, and it also just creates a really nice gradual transition that is in balance with the actual build of the dog. Good boy. And then for the inside of the leg, doing pretty much the exact thing, just neatening up the inside of that front leg and softening any harsh lines or edges that I have. So I'm just following my line that I've already set up here and just smoothing everything out, getting rid of a lot of those sticky outies as we professionally call them and just softening right up into that arm. And again, I always repeat what I do every time. So I'm gonna comb this up, make sure if there's more hair, see? Them armpits grow hair while you're grooming. But I've got a really nice line there and there's no hair sticking out when I move the leg and that's what you're really going for. Cause that's what's gonna make sure that your groom lasts in between appointments and then setting the leg down as well and making sure that I like the lines that I have while the dog is standing in place. Good job, buddy. All right.